What's up guys? We're back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we are the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend or cancel your disbelief. I am your favorite YouTuber and your favorite manifestation coach. So if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me in the description below. Okay, I really don't have anything to ramble about in the beginning of this video um, other than the fact that I got all the pink out of my hair because I was over it. The second it faded, I was over it, done with it, wanted my blonde back, which is why I went to my hairstylist to get the pink in the first place because I knew, I knew I was going to want my blonde back and of course, she's back. So I asked Twitter this time because Twitter kind of gets left out when we do these Q and A's. I asked Twitter to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them. Let's get to some questions. I feel like there's a lot of headspace. First, examples and thoughts on why is your assumption more powerful than any circumstance? Because that's just how the law works your assumption creates reality period so whatever circumstances in your life can be changed by your assumption because your reality must by law reflect your assumptions that's just the way it is what image do you have for society in the future as a result of our mass spiritual awakening conscious creating i feel like there's gonna be a lot more miracles more people are waking up more people realize that everything is a manifestation more people realize that they can control everything with their thoughts so i feel like there's going to be a lot more happiness more miracles miracles more more of people being aware of what they're thinking and saying i think it's just going to be a lot more of what used to be a small amount of manifestation or where manifestation used to be uncommon and we were kind of this weird group of people it is no longer that way everybody knows what manifesting is everybody is very open about it everybody's manifesting I feel like that's why there are so many more healings. I feel like that's why people aren't aging like they used to. I feel like that's why I feel like we're just going to see a lot of good things. What would be your best tips for a beginner? Should they take time to first only affirm for self-concept like I'm a master at manifesting? Mm, you can't. I think you should always affirm for your self-concept for sure but for a beginner the biggest thing aside from setting your rules for how the law works for you like saying i'm a master at manifesting i manifest very quickly and easy i fully understand manifesting besides things like that you need to start testing it on people and things that's how you're going to master it the most uh since saturating the mind is key would you recommend having one thing as your main focus at a time so it saturates faster no you are always manifesting you are always thinking so if you have a couple of like really important desires take 10 minutes for each of them any chance you get through the day before bed when you when you first wake up when you're in the shower when you're cooking whatever it is and just be looping your affirmations for that thing. And each time that you have time to affirm for something, affirm for something else. Neville says not to reveal your manifestations until fruition. What is your opinion on that? And what do you think about people saying you shouldn't talk about it to others because of the evil eye or whatever? Um, personally, I don't. I'm not saying this is the only way, but... I personally don't like if I'm manifesting something probably the only people that know I'm manifesting it would be my mom Bobby or Brittany otherwise I don't talk about it I don't I, I especially don't tell the public 
but not because I think that anybody can affect it. Because nobody can stop your manifestation. Even if you do tell people, nobody can stop it. But it can create more resistance because you feel the pressure to do what you've said you're gonna do or manifest what you said you're gonna manifest. Um, two, you could have negative people in your life that are gonna speak against it and therefore create more resistance to it. But nobody can stop it. Like no one can sit and wish and wish and wish and stop your manifestation. They can't do that. If you're farming for something, you being the creator of your own reality, there's they can't stop it. They can't hurt your manifestation and your reality. You're the boss, okay? They can't do that. So it's not because of that. I'm not sure why Neville said it specifically, but my personal reason is because one, it's personal, it's my business, somebody else's business, and I just don't feel the need to share it with anyone other than my closest people, which is the three people I just named. So that's about it. That's my reasoning. But is it like a rule? No, it's up to you. But I recommend just so that you don't create more resistance, you just keep it to yourself and then tell people about it once it's done. I feel like manifesting things is just very personal. So I don't know. I don't, I, I'll share my success. I don't want to share my process because I don't know how long it's going to take me to overcome whatever resistance I might have depending on what manifestation it is because every manifestation is different depending on your assumptions that you already had about it. So yeah, I mean just keep it personal unless you just want to share it's up to you or share it with only your closest people. That's what I do. Thoughts on having multiple desires to not obsess. Having multiple desires doesn't have anything to do with obsession. You just, like I said earlier, affirm for each desire at different times. Do you believe if you're manifesting an SP, it could be because they're manifesting you? It could be, but is that always the case? No, you just desire them. And if you desire something, you should have it. Finding a balance between saturating your mind to speed up the manifestation while at the same time not making manifestation a job where you spend hours a day affirming scripting. I'm literally watching your last Ulta haul on YouTube right now. Thank you for watching my second channel. Um, one, if you have the right affirmations, it won't feel like a job to you. You'll enjoy saying them. And you don't need to do it for hours and hours and hours. 10 to 15 minutes affirming quietly, shutting the world out. I mean, like Neville even talks about, just shutting the world out. While he did visualization, you can do the same thing with your affirmations sit quietly or like I said when you're taking a shower when you're cooking just like doing things that are either habitual or just sitting quietly or laying in bed at night or first thing in the morning just a time where you can just shut the world out go in your mind and repeat your affirmations like they're already true like you're sharing the news with someone or just repeating them to yourself like they're already true just taking that time. You don't need hours and hours and hours. 10 to 15 minutes is enough if you focus and do it. And then it won't feel like a job. I literally forget to affirm most of the time. How do you remember to affirm for the things you want to manifest? How do you for... I don't understand when people say they forget to affirm. Are you not thinking about the thing you want? If you're not, then that's fine. It's not that important to you to manifest. When you think of it, affirm. But if you're forgetting to affirm, it can't be that important because you're not thinking of it. If you're thinking of it, you have time to affirm. If you are thinking of it, you should be thinking of it in the way that you want it to be. So, it must not be that serious of a desire that you have, in my opinion. Because if I'm manifesting something, I'm consciously thinking of it and I'm making time to affirm. Do you think it's possible to wake up in your desired reality with all of your manifestations done? Yes, I do believe that. I believe that anything is possible. I believe that we are way more unlimited than anyone known has discovered 
not known because there are plenty of people that have done miraculous things but people kind of just push it away because it's not so common it's not until things become common that people start to feel like it's doable but i believe in believing in the unbelievable and doing the impossible impossible um i believe we're completely unlimited and we can do way more things than you could ever think of and waking up to your desired reality where everything is in its place and as you want it to be is 100 percent possible and probably not very hard honestly if you were to keep focusing on that and you can literally i even saw someone in my group say that was their affirmation i only exist in my desired reality or i'm living my dream life any either however you want to say it yeah you can totally do it how to simplify manifestation manifestation is simple whatever you desire think of it as already being true loop it to saturate your mind because that's how the brain works the brain will accept anything if it hears it enough and expect it to show up expect it to become true whatever it is it's it's that simple all you you don't need to do all these techniques and all these methods and all these clickbait titles it's simply thinking as if you already have what you want but you're using repetition to go ahead and saturate your mind with this new belief of it so that you can have it faster that's it that's literally all manifestation is how can you revise one's entire life or major chunks well you could do the major chunks by whatever you wish had happened in that chunk chunk of time affirming that it did or you can use full affirmations full like blanket affirmations like everything in my life has always been perfect that is my number one magical affirmation it works for pretty much everyone that's ever used it um it's a revision affirmation when you phrase it like that or you could say everything in my life is always perfect if you want it for like a present tense affirmation for a revision one you would say everything in my life has always been perfect and then add in whatever detailed affirmations you would want to imply that all of those all of those things that you're wanting to revise never happened how often do you think we should affirm i think you need to do at least 10 minutes at a time two or three times a day if you really want it to happen fast or if you're like trying to lay a foundation for how the law works for you a lot of you want to manifest really fast well you've got to get that belief in there you've got to get the repetition going rewire that brain someone asked me i'll end the video with this because it's already at 17 minutes somebody asked me what is my personal way i manifest i've already made a video on this i will say it again i pick my affirmations it can be one or all the way up to four or five depending on depending on what i'm manifesting and sometimes if it's up to five it's usually because i'm i've got a little story going that i'm looping over and over like a conversation but the way i do it is i choose my affirmations and i take about 10 minutes and i shut the world out and i go in there and i'm looping it like i'm having a conversation i i will do this sometimes only one time a day sometimes up to three times a day it just depends but i am usually always affirming like if i'm thinking of it i'm affirming for it um if i'm cooking if i'm in the shower if i am sometimes if i'm sitting watching youtube i'll be affirming and i'll also have that time that i take and i just close my eyes and put everything down with no outside noise and i do my affirming then that is how i manifest that's how i do for everything that's how i've always done it it has always worked for me that way no other techniques or methods or anything like that have ever worked for me that has always been the best and fastest way for me to manifest and that is how i still do it today i might do a part two with the rest of the questions or i might just go and answer them on twitter i don't know yet but i hope this video was helpful for you i couldn't get to all the questions i'm sorry it's already 20 minutes and i need to film more videos so Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.